Is it a good one? Oh, God, I get the net. net. Shoot. Oh. Come on, yeah, Dang, what a fish. Golly. Look at that big fish right there, boys. Golly, my. That's a hammer right there. Man. That's an Alabama hammer is what that is. We're out here crappy fishing today. Man, it is a cold, raw day. We're looking for fish on uh, on our hummingbird side skin. I'm gonna show you guys right here. We found some on a bridge. We're gonna fish them here in a minute, but I'm gonna show you. We're just easing along here. Here's the bridge. First pylon you just saw. Second pylon you just saw. Everything in between those pylons is fish, and I know that because I can see their shadows here where my finger is. That's all the fish suspended in the, in the water column on the pylon, and there's all the shadows of those fish. Now I'm gonna show you what I have up front to, to locate those fish once I get up and start fishing. This is my Hummingbird 360. You can, you can see the bridge pylons right there on the left. There's, there's my boat. That's related to my boat right to the left. All those white dots in there are fish on that bridge pylon that you can see, all right? The only thing that that Hummingbird 360 doesn't show me is the depth. So down here on the bottom, I have a Garmin unit, a Garmin Panoptics. And when I point that trolling motor to that pylon, as you can see, now you can see all the fish in there. And I can tell that those fish are 10 foot deep. So when I cast my jig in there, I'm gonna make sure I'm at 10 foot where those fish are. Fish, there he is. We're here hammering some big fish today. Uh, came in, found some fish on the bridge pylon, uh, used our electronics to see how deep they were, and we've been smoking them. Uh, as you can see, this is coming right out of that fish's mouth. Look what just fell out down in that fish's mouth. Oof, Fosky fireball, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we're tipping these jigs with those fireballs, and they loving it, I'm telling you. I mean, proof's in the pudding, guys. Proof's in the pudding. Get him, get him mitt now, now. There you go. <laughs> Not believing me. You say that scent works, buddy. Look at that big joke. <laughs> Boys and girls, good gracious alive. Man, that is a stud right there, boy. <clears throat> We're using a five and a half foot HH rod, uh, dock shooting rod with a 500 series reel. We got four pound K9 line on these rods, high biz, where we can see those, see that line when, when we're catching these fish. It just helps us to detect more bites. The, uh, the jigs we're using this morning is a black, blue, and chartreuse uh, hair jig. And as you can see, that one, this one here is pretty, pretty torn up from all the fish that have hit it. But we're tipping those jigs, as you can see, we're tipping those jigs with a Potsky fireball. And uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it's 29 degrees out here this morning. These fish are real lethargic. They're, they're, they're not very active. This, this fireball that we're putting on these jigs is creating a scent trail in the water. And when those fish are coming up behind these jigs, they're, they're tasting that scent in the water and they're knowing that it's tricking them into believing this is a live bait. Cool. There we go. Another nice crap. You just absolutely hammered. Awesome. Oh, holy moly. Look at that hog right there, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mwah!
I want to talk a little bit to you about the importance of scent. Um, and, and we told you earlier that we're using Potsky Fireballs today for scent on these jigs. Uh, for, for a while, we used to use the crappy nibbles. Um, the only bad thing about them is, you know, you control with them and, and they're fine. They have scent on them also. We do a lot of casting, a lot of pitching, a lot of dock shoot. Uh, those, those crappy nibbles are dough bait. They don't stay on our hook. I, I can't cast, I can't shoot that jig under a dock one time without that nibble coming off. These Potsky Fireballs that we've tipped these jigs with, I can shoot, I, I counted today, I can shoot eight to 10 times before I have to change that ball. That's, that's a big difference there. It, it's worth putting it on your hook. Whereas a, a nibble, there's no sense in hook, you know, putting it on the, on the jig because it's gonna fall off immediately. Is it a good one? That's a good, yeah, no doubt. Ooh, that's a head shaker, boy. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ooh. These old fish right here, that's a pretty fish. These fish are getting staging up, getting ready to go spawn in this creek behind us, but man, that's a beautiful fish. Man, we caught some huge fish this morning. Cold as it can be outside, but it just goes to show you with the right baits and the right scents, you can come out here and catch them any time of the year. Hey guys, Chris Schaefer, Potsky Outdoors, coming to you live. No, I'm just <laughs> with you.